Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator where we are currently building roads in our newly acquired lands and that is going to take a little while. We unfortunately have Banar rebelling in eight months and the question is how much is this going down by? 0.37. If we were to do this it would be 0.21 so it wouldn't be positive. So we would have to do this eventually anyway. We might as well get it over with. So let's let it tick forward, and we're going to build roads where possible. We'll see how much roading we get done and who all rebels here. But that is going to be in a few months. So that's not going to be too bad. We could always hire mercs to deal with it. That is an option. Another option, of course, is just finish building the roads and then send a force to go deal with it. That is another option. Oh, we're very laggy again. That's interesting. I'm wondering if there's a big war going on. There might well be. Well, there's this out over here, occupied by Rome. So that could very well be what's going on. There's definitely a fair amount of conflict ongoing right now. So that's probably what's going on with these periodic lag spikes. It's not a big deal. For the moment, we're going to continue to tick forward and build these roads. We're going to want to get these colonies done very, very soon. And that, of course, is going to require a fair amount of work. I do want to come out over this direction and take a look at pop counts. So 15 pops here. Noted. Let's view the pop info. Okay. I mean, they're not very happy at all. That's not surprising, to be clear. That is deeply, deeply unsurprising. We're going to work on assimilation here. We should probably switch this over at this point to cultural assimilation. We're 91% Dukunic. We probably don't need further help here. So we're going to work on the cultural assimilation at this point. That's going to be a pretty slow process, but that's understood. That is absolutely fine and deeply, deeply unsurprising. So we've got about three months until this rebellion. That's fine. These guys are currently backtracking and they're going to continue to build their roads. Looks good. And these guys are just building on down. So we're no longer importing wood, sure. Whatever, that is fine. I want to check in on mines and farming settlements and enclosures. None of those to be built. Okay, looks good. So these are going to rebel. Pretty much guaranteed. We currently have a farming settlement there. We'll see if they <laughs> demolish that. They could. It's a theoretical possibility, but they shouldn't. So they're going to rebel on this next month tick, which is also the year tick. We're likely going to just hire these mercs to deal with it. That said, these guys are pretty close to being done with their road. Who all's in this? Just Banar here. Okay. For the moment, I'm letting it be. Treatment successful. Okay, sure. That sounds good. We're not seeing them raise up any units. Okay, there's a unit being raised up. So they're going to come in and attack over here, presumably. They are going to arrive here shortly. If we were to recruit these guys, they would not have morale, although they are going to arrive after the month tick on 3 February. I'm going to recruit this. And I'm going to put them onto unit reorder. So they're at 17% morale. I don't necessarily expect that we're going to win this. We'll find out. I don't think we have the morale. Yes, we did not have the morale. That was expected. We're retreating a long ways away. Okay. I was just hopeful that we'd be able to get that done, but... Hmm. Interesting. Do it. That sounds good. So that's additional culture being, being ours, which is great. So Lin Yi here, that is an accepted culture. So we're very, very happy about that. We absolutely want additional progress on that cultural assimilation. No doubt about now about that. Hush now. Okay, so these guys are going to run around over here. That is understood. We're going to get these mercs back eventually. And are they regenerating morale as they retreat? Because this is a very long retreat. Yes, they are. Okay, so our religious advances have advanced. That, of course, means that we want to go in and grab ban witchcraft to boost our pop conversion speed by 5%. 
that will be huge on its own. So these guys are going to be obnoxious up over here. That was, it was always going to be obnoxious. We'll see what they end up doing. We'll get these mercs turned around. I was just hopeful that we'd be able to overwhelm them with sheer numbers, but we didn't have the morale, and that is not surprising, all things considered. So that's fine. We're going to get these these lads turned right on around as soon as we can, which will be right now. So they're going to come back over this way, and we'll see about eliminating these guys and then just kicking them out of here. Well, these are going to build this last section of road and start sieging up over here. So that'll be good. And these guys are going to keep road building for a good long time. So that'll be absolutely fine. They are walking down over here right now. They've decided not to do that. Where are they walking to? Here. Okay, so we're going to have to let them walk in. Eventually, there we go, they're locked in. Now we're going to come attack them here. These guys have almost finished up their road build. There we go, we'll take them off of road build and go attack the fort. So that looks good, and we'll easily win this in theory. Even with the low morale, they just don't have the troop count. So that looks good. Let's go take Siat and get all of this territory back. That'll be fine. And of course, we've got our nice long road built all along this coast. So that looks good. There's a lot of impassable terrain here. No doubt about that. But this is fine. So we're going to grab this capital, and we're just going to start bringing them back into their own territory. We were just a little slow to react to it, right? It's not a huge deal. So this siege is underway nicely. Excellent. So they're currently at minus 22. Ticking is against us for the moment, but that will not be the case forever. We need to head down. Where was the capital over here? I forget. I wish it, I wish it showed us. Oh, there it is. Hello. Capital's right here. Maybe I'm blind, but sometimes I don't see these. <laughs> so the capital is here. We're going to grab that, and we're going to come down here. This should be... I think the capital is here. If it is, it's definitely not showing the capital. Let's zoom out and back in. Yeah, it's definitely not showing it up over here. Okay. Well, for now, that's fine. Maybe it only shows it in under certain conditions. Like, for example, you control... Like, for example, you have Fog of War of it. That'd be weird, but maybe... Yeah, it showed up the moment we had Schoon here. So it's Fog of War gated to know where the capital of the state is. That's weird. <laughs> well, now we figured that out. That's something anyway. I don't know that I think that that's a good choice, but it's certainly a choice. We've got a minor addendum here, and we probably should just gain the stability. That seems fine. We'll go up and attack Roompook. And we've just about got this this war under control at this point. There's not too much else left for it. How are we doing on our constructions up over here? We've still got a ways to go on that. That's fine. Excellent. So this siege will end eventually. At this point, I feel like these mercs aren't necessary. We can definitely get rid of them. They were useful. No doubt about that. <laughs> they want a peace deal. No, we're going to decline that. I want to actually sack this settlement. So we're at 49% right now. And as soon as that fort falls, it will be good. And there we go. So we're just letting this cap. And we got a slave moved over as well. Looks good. Okay. Now we're going to sue for peace. Our enemies... Do deserve no quarter, but I think we're going to lose half a point of AE. We do have some aggressive expansion still. So let's head on over here. Let's get rid of this fort. This produces wood. Okay, sure. That seems fine. They've still got the farming settlement there. Okay. Let's just double check that we don't have any farming settlements, mines, or enclosures to build. We do not. We could definitely think about putting in a bunch of slave estates. These aren't going to change the income of any of these. Why would that not? 
They'll give us slave output as well as population growth. Do none of these have slaves? They do. Okay, I'm not sure why it's saying that they would give no output. They almost certainly would give output. Interesting. I mean, ultimately, slave estates would not reduce the overall amount of slaves needed, right? So there is that. We should probably colonize where we can. Where is this? Nowhere. O okay. Nowhere is available for colonization. Interesting. I guess we'll go through all of these and just see which one is maybe available for colonization. And just double check that it's correct on that. It may or may not be. So none of these. Sounds good. Uh, was it you? No, it was not. It was not you either. Was it you? No. Up here? No. 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 And no. Okay. So, yeah, nowhere is available for colonization. Thanks for that. <laughs> Excellent. So, with nowhere available for colonization, I guess we won't colonize. That sounds good. So, what do we want to build in these locations? That's the question to ask. Honestly, I kind of want to just build a slave estate, like, everywhere. But, at the same time, things like... Hmm... Colonias would be pretty decent for the pop conversion and assimilation speed and the unrest reduction. So there is that. What else do these give? I mean, they give pop promotion and demotion speed. But then once the area is taken over, it's not very relevant, right? So economically, it's not that great. Whereas slave estates would give slave outputs, and I kind of want to build that, but based entirely on what the output of that province is. In most cases, I think that we want to build this. So there is that. Now, we could always, in this city here, for example, build ourselves... Where is it? Shrines would give us pop conversion speed. But I believe only in the city. So do provincial legations not exist in this mod? It's possible. I'm thinking that that is indeed the case, that they've been replaced with colonias. Villa estates. Yeah, that's not really what we're looking for there. Town commons would be also kind of interesting. Indeed. Indeed. So that's definitely interesting. We could potentially build some logging camps, and we probably do want to do that. So logging camps where we can. Here we go. So there's four locations we can build logging camps. Let's get going on that. That is, of course, tied to producing wood. So that's fine. We got a marshal advance, and that looks good. Yeah, we're going to take the 20 gold, probably. Actually, two citizens... We're going to take two citizens. Thanks. Now, let's get some integrated culture happiness here. And we'll go down to formulaic worship soon enough. Note that our research efficiency is not very high right now. I'm wondering if that is because of population happiness. No, that shouldn't be the case. Okay, we'll just bo boost this income up here a little bit. So we can bring that up. Not a huge amount. We'll see how that goes. This is definitely nowhere near the 200 marker. So we had a little bit of headroom in our two research cities. We'll see how that ends up going. We have a zeal perk available, and what did I just grab there? I did not mean to click on that. I meant to just look at it. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I suspect that we want to make our way down to, like, conversion policies anyway. So that would be reasonably fine. Is there now a colony available for colonization? No, but maybe. But no, but maybe. Definitely not this one. <laughs> Okay, sure. I doubt it's out over here. That really shouldn't be the case. Maybe up here? No, none of these are close enough. Okay. Exciting. 
Well, we can get a military tradition, and we should definitely do that. I guess Coast and Rivers is okay. Might as well. So that seems fine for now. I really want to figure out what's going on with this cup. Wait, did we check up here? No, that shouldn't be the case. This is impassable. Okay, so I don't know what colony it is trying to tell us that is available for colonization because there aren't any that are available for colonization as far as I can tell. So that is a thing. <laughs> are you done building yet? Almost. Actually really close. So just going to build a connection here, a connection here, and then a connection here, and then head down this way. Yeah, that seems absolutely fine. Almost done with building these roads. Okay. So these libraries have been built. Let's check in on this. 167.61. Okay. So arguably at this point, we need another research city. And maybe this one should be it. We've already got an academy here and two libraries. We do have a forum. We already have a noble district here as well. So this isn't all that great in terms of our pops, but let's put in a noble district. Let's make this into a research city since we apparently do need another one. Our research efficiency is low, probably because our pop count grew quite a bit from taking all of this out over here. So another research city is not a bad idea. Let's get a third noble district here. We know that we're going to want to get Court of Laws as well. So it's Court of Laws, Academies, Noble Districts, and Libraries, correct? I want to double check that. Yes, that is correct. Okay, so that seems reasonably fine. I really wish that there were actually colonies available for colonization. That would be neat. But unfortunately, there are not, and so we'll just have to live with this. We'll be getting some gold in fairly soon, and our gold income is going to go up by quite a bit once these guys finish up this last section of road. Because we're going to immediately take them off of road build and move them straight on down over here, right? So that's absolutely fine. In we go. Perfect. Now we're going to take them off of road build and bring them straight on down. That will increase our income a reasonable amount, 35.85. Yeah, that's much better. So we're going to be able to build ourselves a court of law here. And that'll give us territorial provincial loyalty, which will be good. So we'll get one of those going. And we are currently on religious conversion here. Just wait a bit longer. I'm sure he'll be fine. So we need to do some more conversion here. We are working on that. Let's take a look at our pop info here. Yeah, we're going to get another conversion done pretty quickly here. It's looking pretty decent. Kejong C is now ruling the nation. Okay. And does he have any colonies he can do? No, he doesn't. But we do need to put somebody in here. And who do we want to put in? Well, this guy. That'll be fine. There is a scorned family, the C family, but it, it'll be, I'm sure, fine. I'm sure they won't have any problems. So we're going to go to Zeal Focus, and I wanted to look at this. Oh, yeah, that's actually pretty good. So we're going to be going for probably Divinity Focus. These are all the same as far as I can tell, but whatever. So we're going to patronize temples and then interreligious calendar and then hopefully conversion policies, but that's only the province of Candace. Huh. Well, that's not all that necessary then. Interesting. Nobody would gain a free provincial investment. Fascinating. <laughs> well, that's okay for now. We're going to continue to build buildings here. We're going to want to get another court of law queued up as soon as we can. Let's grab these, merge them together. Barbarians in Lupo. Okay. Let's stop this drill and start heading down here. Oh, it's only 4K. Never mind. We're going to resume our drill. So they're going to attack Thashina. That's very rude of them, but whatever. Then where are they going to go? So they're at 4,000 right now. They must have had 4,500. I hope they go south here, but not this way, ideally. We'll see what happens. For the time being, I'm not too concerned about them. Back over here, I do want to get another court of law going. This will be 0.09 on the provincial loyalty. That will not stop the provincial loyalty, but it will offset it a bit. They went north? Okay, whatever. 
Cool. So they're now down to 3,500. Yeah. This will be no major problem. We would prefer that they go this way or even back down to Thashina here. That would be ideal. We'll see if that ends up happening. Now, uh, see when is a jerk. So here's a question. If we do this, he'll start seeing us as rival, but then we can remove rival for 30 political influence. Okay, that's not a bad thing. 30 political influence is slightly painful, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So over here in Barus, we can definitely build a conscription camp. I'm going to do that. I know that we need to build more things up here, but for the moment, we're not going to do that. A bungling burglar, huh? Okay. And also, this guy needed some time to adjust. Our stability dropped from that. It's not the end of the world. So they're going up over here. That's fine. Excellent. So they're down to 3,000 troops now. They go here, they're going to go to 2,500. Then they come here, and they should be able to assault that. So that seems okay. Legal chicanery, huh? Do we want stability or 50 gold? We want 50 gold. However, that is going to give us a civil war brewing here. Zhang Yong Fan, huh? He's near death. Maybe we go for somebody else here. Shu Meng Shi? This guy? Yeah, this is much better. That's fine. So no problem there. Still no colonizable provinces, despite the pop-up. This guy will be very displeased if he we don't give him an office soon. Yeah, what? A, this is the guy that we just bribed. He immediately demanded an office. Okay. <laughs> very rude. We can't give him free hands because he doesn't have an office. We also don't have an office to give him. So for right now, this isn't going to be a thing. We do have a lot of disloyalty at the moment. So Yun Chang would be, well, no, it's really going to have to be this guy. There's not a lot we can do about him. We could try to make friends. Sure, why not? Let's see what happens with that. So next up, of course, we're going to want to get another court of law building here. So we'll get that queued up. That looks solid. We'll publicly praise this guy in his deeds. Definitely. So this civil war will break out in 20 months. We're definitely going to solve this. This guy is near death. And we're trying to make friends with him. So maybe we don't want to put all that much for resources into this. Hmm. Everyone enjoys a good show. We could also try to bring him to trial. But our tyranny is still pretty high. And for the moment, we probably don't want to do that. So there's this guy here. He's at 32 loyalty right now. Most of it is due to his power base. Five tyranny. I don't want to spend tyranny on this. This guy's probably going to die anyway. He's near death at this moment, and what do we want to do about that? Not much. We just want to get rid of him, to be honest. So we'll not try too hard. We were spurned by him. I'm not shocked about that. So what else do we have here in terms of powerful people? Well, it's really just this guy, and he wants an office. I guess we'll have to give him one. Hmm... We could replace this guy with this guy. They look identical. I guess they're wearing a different shirt. <laughs> cool. So we'll just put this guy in. And that solves the problem, at least for now. Next, of course, we're going to want to build an academy here. So we're up to 13 out of 13 possible buildings in this location. We are going to have the civilization value of this come up somewhat. Now, these guys are not very happy here. This place is not very assimilated at this moment. We are working on that. Okay, he gave us 300 gold. That's nice of him. So we're going to get rid of this commercial district, and we're going to build an academy with that. Then we're going to get rid of this forum, and we're going to build a library. Then we're going to get rid of this port, and we're going to build a library there as well. So that'll take a little while for all of that to get built, but this is now a maxed out city at this moment. So that looks reasonably good. This colonizable territory is still not colonizable. They're not actually assaulting over here. They're actually sieging that. 
Let's go get him. Okay, so that seems fine. We can call down an omen. Let's go for provincial loyalty for right now. We do have provinces that are disloyal, and they are going down, but we're working on it. It's absolutely not as bad as it once was. Things are definitely improving on that front. But for the moment, we're just slowly working our way through these assimilations, and that'll be okay. So how are we doing right now? We are at 144.93. That is dropping. Okay, let's hop over to Panay and take a quick peek here. They're maxed out on their happiness here. They're not maxed out on their happiness here. Okay, so that's interesting. No doubt about that. So this is noble desired ratio. None of this is noble happiness. If I recall correctly, we looked through these previously and determined that there was absolutely nothing. Where's Basak? Oh, this is a city? I had no idea. We could give them a library. That seems okay. We're probably going to need another research city at the rate this is going. So that would be reasonably fine. But as I was saying, if I recall correctly, there is absolutely nothing that increases noble happiness in terms of buildings. You can, of course, increase noble happiness by importing different goods, right? So we would be able to come in here and increase our noble happiness here by importing a different good. What is currently being imported? Rice? Base metals? Okay. Let's get rid of these for the time being. And all we need to do is import things like porcelain. And then something like, say, papyrus? Oh, they wouldn't accept that. Uh, dyes. Here we go. And that would do the trick. That should boost up the, the happiness at least somewhat. So they're at 78.9. Okay, that seems reasonably fine. Let's take a look at the pop info here. So sort by pop type. Okay, so what are they upset about? Number of integrated cultures, foreign governor. Dukunik is at minus 5%. Okay, uh, they'll get over it. I'm not too concerned about that. Let's take a quick look at this 150 right now. Yeah, we're going to need to do additional work over here. So this is fine. We can definitely do that. We'll put in a noble district up over here and another one and a third one. We'll put in a court of law here as well. And that'll be great. It is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to continue these constructions. We're getting very, very close at this point to having all of these relatively good to go. We do have additional cities that need to be worked on, of course, particularly up over in this region. And I am still planning on all three of these to be slave cities. But for now, this will do. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kin Togan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the video, or rather the channel, you can click the you can click the join button down below the video. Okay, that got exciting. And as always, I will see you all next time.